Moses, rather. And uh, there's a statement in that chapter with one word that was their downfall, and that is nevertheless. Nevertheless. Here's for not. This, this, the land is exactly as it was described. We could say the word of God is yea and amen. 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 It is absolutely true. Amen. And, and we might be substituting a genuine faith for just a mental asset for it. And they said, nevertheless, we, we are witnesses, we are eyewitnesses of the fruit that, it, that has been brought back, that this land is as it was described. But nevertheless, so their attitude toward the promise of God and toward their inheritance my brother and sister was a, a, a very negative attitude that eliminated them from, it, from possessing their inheritance. Yes. Now I wonder in, in the Christian community, uh, 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 the whole gamut uh, across the world, I believe that we could be better. We would be better. We would be better. If we allow the Word of God to be, be released from our mouths, yes. instead of what we hear, feel, touch, taste, or see. Amen. Yes. In Numbers 14, uh, actually, the, the two that had a different attitude uh, than the majority, they were definitely in the minority, was Joshua and Caleb. We can take the land. It's ours. It's ours. It's been willed to us. It's, we're not going to be denied. We're Amen. not going to be deprived of it. It's ours. Right. Amen. Amen. Every promise in redemption. The prophet said, whether Brother Branham said it or not, my brother and sister, and I, I'm not saying that in a demeaning manner whatsoever, but every promise that God gave us in redemption, you are the heir. Yeah. Yeah. You are the recipient of it. healing, then you are he, as the prophet did say he cannot heal you, he's already done. Amen. He cannot save you, he's already done. Right. Amen. 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 He's already, the work is already complete. It, it's told, it's over. Nothing has to be done. Amen. Now what do we do? We can say by his stripes I am healed. We can put that word in us before our before our bodies may be ever challenged by some kind of a physical attack. We can say by his stripes, he sent his word and healed us. I am an heir of God and a joint heir with Christ. And Numbers chapter 14, uh, verse 28, as truly as I live, saith the Lord, as you have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. It's, it's what a, a, a warning that he hears us. Yeah. Whatever we're saying. Say it, amen. amen. He's aware of it. There's not a, a word that he is, uh, that is released from our mouths that he is unfamiliar with. So he knows when you are uh, putting the word of God in your inner being. Put, put the things that, that you need in life that, that Scripture has. Put that in your heart. Amen. Other things will take care of themselves. Amen. Now, you love life? Amen. You want to see good days? Amen. I love life. I want to see good days. Amen. And so the Bible is very, very clear that I'm to, to refrain my tongue from evil. Just the negative. It's not positive over negative. It's the Word of God. Yeah. It's the Word of God yeah. that has dominion. Yeah. And that's what we were given yeah. by creation. Yeah. In Genesis, man yeah. was given dominion right. over this earth. Yeah. And Brother Brown said, when the Holy Ghost comes in, it throws your body 
under subjection to the word. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You, yep. you believe that? I Amen. believe that. Yeah. Look, we put the word in us so the word can come out of us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You're a winner. Amen. You, you believe that? Amen. You're an overcomer. Amen. Uh, actually, the, the word tells us that you're the head and not the tail. You're above only and not beneath. You're blessed going out and you're blessed coming in. None of us would be want no, no, that's that's not for me. We need that. How can we do or promote and further the gospel if we don't have a means to do so? Amen. Amen. And, and I'm not saying this in with insensitivity, but I, I, I think a vibrant, healthy, joyful, victorious uh, spirit and soul in a mind and body uh, is a great representative.
that are roaring around you, but look at the sea, the master that's sleeping inside of your ship. Hallelujah. And inside, everything is going to be all right.
songs and spiritual things in your mind. Hallelujah. Impregnate your mind with the word of God so that you can bring forth the birth of the things that you believe in. Bobby is a good carpenter in the footsteps of Jesus, namely Cole. Amen. 